today that I'm going to share with you just a quick sewing project um, that I decided was um, kind of necessary and also useful is that I am going to be making a cover for my um, HTV Ront heat press pad. So part of this is because I don't know if you're like me, but you're in a project and without thinking, you go ahead and lay it, your project down and you forgot to cover your pad. So now you have an image that bled through. Or so you're like, okay, so I'm just gonna flip the pad over, no big deal. And then you do it again. Okay, so I wanna do this um, little tutorial one, to um, cover this up. And two, as in a different case, and this was user error, certainly, I'm not blaming the product, but um, I had my pad on, everything was, you know, strapped down. I had my Velcro sheet, or my um, Teflon sheet down, you know, to protect my pad. And then I had I think, to be honest, it was a piece of the, um, parchment paper, so it was a bigger piece, but I put my project in, I put my parchment paper on it, and I slid it in, and everything shifted, so I reached up to grab it, to move it, just as the plate came down, and, um, just barely grazed my hand. And I hardly even thought about it, but um, yeah, I burned the crap out of my hand. So my plan now is I won't be fiddling with this bottom sheet that's gonna be uh, moving around. I'll just have my top layer to go ahead and put down. And I would love to put magnets on this. Like you can see other heat press where you Hold your Teflon up and you lay a magnet down. Well, we know this is not uh, metal, so you can't use a magnet on it. Anyway, my plan is to uh, make a cover for it. This will be permanent, no slipping around. And then if I just have a top layer of Teflon, whether it's the Teflon or the parchment paper, I'm only fiddling with top piece and not having to worry about things slipping and sliding and shifting. So um, let me go put that together and I'll come back and show you. For this process, I just went and lined up my piece of Teflon on top of my pad. I decided to fold in my edges. It's about an inch and three quarters on both sides and then I have just clipped it. So I'm going to sew from this end to this clip and then from this clip to this clip and then from this clip to the end again, leaving a gap for these elastic straps to poke through. Um, so I'm gonna repeat that on the second sheet of Teflon. I'm going to fold it in, clip my edges, and then mark where I need to start and stop for my elastic piece to stick through. And then I decided I'm just gonna do my edges. That way if I need to take it out, it'll be easy to pull out, either um, push it through, pull it out, whatever, flip it over. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do next.
that should work. I'm gonna trim up my tail threads here and then I'll slide the heat um, press pad in and show you what it looks like. Okay, now that I have it sewn um, and, and to put it together, it is a snug fit. So if you are going to make this, I would say move your seam allowance out half inch, maybe to a quarter inch. Um, just because it fits a little snug, it, it works fine. But if you don't want to fuss with it, then just move your seam allowance out. But um, so you're going to have your folded edges on the inside so you're going to want to slip your um, heat press pad in between those like this because you're going to be able to um, pull your elastic tabs through so just slip it in kind of line it up where it's supposed to be and then in your little pocket hole, gap, whatever you want to call it, is your elastic strap so that you can now just slip it back onto your heat press. I'll put it on my heat press so you see what it looks like but this way now you can flip it over however you want and I believe I got a package of these for there was three there was three in this package I got it on Amazon I'll put the link below in the description box it was only a few dollars I want to say five to ten dollars for a package of three um and then you just sew it together and then you have a more permanent cover for your pressing mat. Okay, so I have my cover made for the pad. Right and then here are my straps to attach to the bottom of the drawer. Um, now, if you didn't want to fold all this in, it, it only took a couple minutes, but if you didn't want to, you could just um, sandwich the two pieces together and you know run your top stitch a seam all the way along the edge um, and then you just have your edges hanging out but not a big deal Okay, there you have it. And then if you needed to, um, you know, I know you can wipe this off, but if you needed to, you could um, always just flip it over and not have to stress about it. And well, that's it. Um, I hope that you find this helpful. And as always, if this was at least entertaining or useful um, or helpful, uh, please give it a like and a subscribe. It would help me out. I have more projects um, planned for the future and always check back and see what there is. So thanks for watching and until next time, bye. So as a thought, as I was talking about using a magnet here to hold up the Teflon sheet for the top, you know, it's not magnet or not metal, so the magnet won't work. But then I was like, well, why can't I use tape? So I, I grabbed some blue painter's tape. I'm just gonna tape it up to the edge. Maybe somebody's already been doing this or maybe that's a video, I don't know. But um, 
I'm going to do that and then that way I don't have to worry about things shifting and falling and grabbing and getting burnt. So um, if you like, give that a try and see how that works for you and let me know in the comments below. Thanks.